people have died here. Steep drop offs. It's just a recipe for like strong currents everywhere. It's insane. I, I have no idea where I am, but I'm trying to make my way to Bingle Spit. So I'm gonna walk across these rocks. Apparently it's on the other side. We'll see. Check out the rock formations here. It's very interesting. I love it. this big sign it's very worn and I think there is another one all the way down there on the main beach where people come from it's just Fingal Spit crossing Fingal Sand Spit can be dangerous yep do not cross in either direction if there's any water over the sand spit obviously check the tide because so we've got strong cars dangerous tides sharks no life saving sudden drops yeah it's just a big recipe for disaster if you go at the wrong time. <laughs> Rain's clearing up. I don't know if I'm going to get any drone shots. It's so windy still. Oh crap. Oh, struggling. It's really struggling. Oh, it is just not coming. Oh, there we go. I'm going full speed. If this was not windy, I'd my face would be obliterated. Oh shit. How am I going to catch this without cutting my hand off? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> so I am back here the next day and it is much, much nicer and we're going to cross it. It's still tide is coming up once again, but now I can actually get some drone shots. And there are people on the other side here. It's getting a bit late now. I wouldn't be spending too much time on that island. Some big waves over there, jeez. Okay. <laughs> this is a bit about the maximum you want to be here. 
What a just an amazing, cool little spot. It's known that at least 15 people have died here since the late 1800s. So that number is now at 17. Um, I filmed this video back in January and I have found one other incident since, but I can't find the 16th. Maybe my info was wrong, but yeah, the 17th person was a 71 year old man who apparently went in the water to save a child. There was no life saving at the time, but when they arrived, apparently they found him near Fingal Spit. But it sounds like they don't really know for sure where it happened. Hours after that tragedy, a video surfaced showing dozens of beachgoers traversing the spot. Now National Parks and Wildlife has taken action, installing two emergency beacons on both sides of the spit, complete with cameras, speakers and a two-way communication system, meaning lifesavers can more easily survey the area. Yeah, the reason I, I bring it up is just to say again, like, yeah, it's these tides and swell and all that, it's no joke, like, I've said it before, but yeah, it's, it's deceiving, really, so you just have to be really careful and just make sure you're confident around the water, know the tides, especially in that location. Just because steep drop-offs, major swell, as soon as these currents and the tide rises and, can, and combine with each other, it's just a recipe for like strong currents everywhere, it's insane. But it's so beautiful, check this out. So I'm back here and it's just about to be low tide and luckily the rain has stopped, kind of. But yeah, you can see how much room there is to walk now. So let's, let's explore this island. I wonder what kind of wildlife I might run into on here. I'm surprised there's still internet on here, at least just on the other side. But yeah, as you can see, low tide just coming down right now. So it's only gonna get lower and it will stay that way for at least another two and a half hours. So we'll be fine. I just hope this weather stays clear because this is my third time coming here, third attempt. And we finally made it to the island. Could have crossed the other times, but the tide was rising, so definitely not a smart idea. This is beautiful. This is so cool. There's a palm tree there. I don't think that's native. <laughs> okay, they've got another Fingal Spit sign here as well. I'll be back in time. Let's check this place out. I do know there's a lighthouse up here. That's pretty cool that they built that on this island. Okay, got a sign here. Do you have time to walk to the lighthouse and back before the tide covers the sand? Same mornings everywhere, as there should be. But this is so cool, there's even like ruins here. So I guess these were the cottages. Okay, they built the lighthouse here in 1862. That's insane. At this time, the sand spit you just crossed was claimed to be 200 meters wide, four meters high, and covered in low bushes. Oh, well that explains how easily it would have been to do that. So I guess it's just all eroding. I wonder if one day you just won't be able to get here by foot. Apparently you can only access it some months of the year sometimes. But they also had a link to the mainland with a telegraph line, but it was destroyed in a storm in 1891. That's crazy, I had no idea there was so much history here. Oh no, it's starting to rain. Alright, let's let's check this all out. We must maintain it. There's that lighthouse. I wonder if people like stay here and manage it. I don't I don't know. But this is all mowed, so I guess. Because I can't imagine they just leave the lighthouse unlocked or something. Okay, more history, let's go. Okay, that's interesting. They used to like mine shell grit for poultry farmers. 1770. Captain Cook, I guess, saw this. <laughs> it's one of the six lighthouses built before 1862 in New South Wales. And then I guess the cottages, yeah, they were burnt down in 91 and they did some restoration, but it does say they manage it. Very interesting. Wow, that's crazy. I wonder if you can get in there. You know what would be crazy? I'd love to metal detect this place. See what kind of relics are here. At least have a look around in here. 
could you imagine finding like an old coin here or something? That would be really cool. Damn, they have closed it. Because I have seen some pictures of people in there. That is very cool. Reminds me of Freitas Hotel, which was also another set of cottages in the bush, which I made a video about. This fence does look fresh. But I'm just looking for maybe a, a hole or something. I don't know. Yeah, that's definitely a hole that they've fixed. I think people have done this. Looks dug out. Could slide under that. It's very tight though. Like, really tight. Yeah, all locked up. Wow. That's not open by any chance, is it? No, of course not. <laughs> There's so much to check out here. I can see how that could be dangerous because you gotta remember there's only one way out of here. I mean, there are, you could, I mean, boats are an option, but I didn't take one here. Oh, dude, I 100% have to come back here with a detector. Just checking out these rock crevices. Not sure. Oh, it's a cigarette, but <laughs> that's recent. There has to be some relics here. I refuse to believe that there isn't. Just disturbed a green ant nest. Sorry guys. Oh shoot. Guess I have to bush bash. It's my only option. You better watch out now. I think it's something wow. what this whole life's about. Yeah. So secluded. It's not the goal, it's the journey. Wasted emotion is worry. I'll stop being in a hurry. Yeah. Crabs everywhere. That seemed like the only trail, but I did just come across this side trail here. I have no idea where it goes. It's like these weird Brussels pine cone trees here. A big crate here, I guess, for when they do maintenance. Huh. There's two trails that goes that way or further down. Oh wow, that's really cool. Oh, this would be a sick place to snorkel. I definitely have to come back here sometime and snorkel this area. This is awesome. And that goes to this awesome rock pool. Check out all these shells and coral. Wow. There's so much to explore here. See what's hiding in these rock pools. Again, it is starting to spit, so gotta be careful. That's a nice shell. Another one. Oh, it's alive. Oh, look at that. 
Shake him out. I'll put you back. There's a bunch of them. This is awesome. It's so clear here. Just pristine and untouched. I can see how this is dangerous. Just the beauty of the island itself is enough to keep you here for a little too long. Like I've gotten sidetracked so many times. Although I had no idea what to expect. But I just can't help to explore this. But I do need to turn around now. Let's see, can I come back today? Yes, yes I can. It's actually nearly peak low tide. I don't think the way I phrased that made any sense, but we're gonna be fine. Look how wide it is now at the lowest tide. I mean, it's, it's probably 25, 30 meters shore to shore. Hard to think this was 200 meters wide at some point, but it's just amazing. Even yesterday, you could tell the difference. Like, it's just like a whole other section of beach here, and then there isn't at high tide. It's crazy. And that's the thing, is the spit is constantly changing. The sand takes all shapes and forms as any beach does. It's also 900 meters long, so even if water's only covering a small portion of the spit, you can't cross. two years and apparently I did come here when I was younger but I don't really remember that for some reason vaguely maybe going off to oh. Oh. oh yes I remember I think like a couple of years ago I had a dream about this place and I wasn't even sure if it was a thing I forgot and in that dream, I saw this sign, but I didn't know about the sign until I looked it up. But maybe I just vaguely remember it subconsciously from when I was younger. I don't know. 